I think, you know, if you think about any city today, it still runs in silos with its transportation, sewage, power, you know, Dubai, for instance, air conditioning, for example. You know, so I think if you think about it today, that's pretty much how it would run. You know, DUA, for instance, not the RTA, they would still need to run their systems and their, their, their all um, uh, financials would be based on that. So I think it, it, whilst it could potentially be holistic, it actually would still be siloed. But in some way, you know, the connectivity of that would create the you know, relevant data connections that could review, provide, you know, additional information. So if you're doing big data, for instance, and you can then look at, you know, let's say, um, water and power supply, for example, then potentially you could add additional factors into that you hadn't considered before. And that, that could be, um, for instance, the weather. You know, it could be a weather system coming in. How does it approach potential power failures if, if it comes in and it's a very strong storm, high winds? And you start building predictive models, which I think can then start to be shared between different departments. But I think financially, it still has to probably be siloed at this stage. No, I